So for two lessons, we've talked about the short vowels in Arabic. They are Fatha, Dhamma, and Kasra. And today we're going to talk about the possibility of doubling these short vowels to produce a new sound. This phenomenon is called Tanween. Tanween means adding N or Noon at the end of the word. We only add it in pronunciation, but we don't actually add it in writing. So, for example, the letter B with a short vowel will be B, B, B. But if we're going to double this short vowel, it will be Ben, Bun, and Bin. And the addition of N or Nun at the end of the word is the effect of Tanween. We should notice that only in case of adding Tanween of Fatha, you need to add alif at the end of the word if the word doesn't end with alif. So how does this look with a real word? A word like kitab, which means book. If we want to add tanween at the end of kitab, we're going to have to add an alif at the end of kitab because it is tanween fatha. And for tanween dhamma and kasra, we can just add it at the end of the word. So, kitab becomes kitaban, kitabun, and kitabin. Now, you must be wondering, why does this even exist? What is the purpose of tanween? Let's be clear about that. There are so many reasons why we use tanween. And I'm not going to talk about all of them here today. But the most major reason and the most common one is using tanween as an indefinite article. Indefinite article... In English, for example, they are A and N. So, instead of using A and N in English, we're using Tanween in Arabic. So, we can translate a book in English to Kitaban. Or, we can also translate it to Kitabun or Kitabin. Now, you must be wondering, when do we use each of them? This depends, of course, on the position of the word in the sentence. But we're not going to go deeper into this part yet because this is related to grammar and we're going to talk about that when we start talking about grammar. So in short, Tanween is written in Arabic just like that and it means doubling the short vowel at the end of the word and it happens only at the end of the word. When this happens, you add N or Noon to the pronunciation of the end of the word and you must add Alif at the end of the word, when using tanween of fatha, like ben. And the main purpose of using tanween as indefinite article, as in English, a and an. Let's have an example to conclude this lesson. The example is, now I'm going to give you a chance to try and read this sentence on your own before I pronounce it for you. Now I'm going to add the short vowels here for you. You should be able to pronounce it on your own. Now the sentence reads رَأَيْتُ قِطًّا فِي الشَّارِعِ And as you can see, the tanween of قِطًّا, which means a cat, is, is to be seen in the translation of the sentence. I saw رَأَيْتُ قِطًّا is translated into a cat فِي الشَّارِعِ in the street. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tanween in short. Until next time, if you have learned anything new today or you like the video, subscribe, like, and share the video for other people to learn from it. Thanks for watching, and see you in lesson four.